Kenta. The reason I pick Kenta, well, because he's been through so much and he always loses. I feel so sorry for him. Um, at first I thought he was a really annoying kid, but he really, I mean, he's still a bit annoying, but you gotta feel sorry for him, and he's trying to be the best he can be, and he always loses, and I feel sorry for him. And plus, he's grown as a character. He actually is kind of cool in the Metal Fury or 4D series, and that is why he is for number 10. Number 9. The Cheyenne. Why did I pick the Cheyenne? Well, for one thing, he's actually really cool when you think about him. He's uh, and he likes to um, he represent his a thousand year legacy or whatever at the Balin Temple, and that's actually pretty nice. And I think he should have won against Jenga because Jenga's kind of a wimp. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, Jenga fanboys, but he is. And yeah, I wish he could have evolved into something cooler, but oh well. Um, the reason he's in my top ten list. Let me think about that. Well, for one thing, his bay looks amazing, and another thing, he actually looks pretty cool himself. And his voice is pretty sweet as well. And that is why he's number nine. Number eight. Damien Hart. Why did I pick Damien? Well, for one thing, he be Julian or Caesar, however, however you want to say his name. Anyway. The reason I love him so much is because he beat Julian and the rest of his team all together. And I still don't understand how he lost to Jenga. I mean, seriously, Jenga couldn't even be one of his one of the teammates with um, Team Ex Team Excalibur. <laughs> but anyway, that's why he's my favorite, and I think he should have won against Jenga. But of course, since Jenga's the main character, he has to win. He just has to. So yeah. He's a very powerful blader. I don't really respect that he uses, like, science for his powers. But, oh, well, he's still a really cool guy. And that's why he's number eight. Number seven. Reggie. Why did I pick Reggie? In fact, he, Reggie has a, quite a few fans. And the way he, he died... Well, I guess he didn't really die. He turned to stone. But, anyway, I'm kind of pissed that he did turn to stone because he's such an awesome character i love him so much he's so over the top and i mean his voice is kind of weird but oh well you kind of get used to it and i don't mind it uh both of the japanese and the english one are actually kind of creepy um the reason i like him is because his strategy is to destroy the other opponent sadly that wasn't the case with jenga of course jenga's the main character so he has to win god i hate jenga so much I sort of should have been, you know. But anyway, that is why he's number seven, and I wish he was still in the metal series. Number six. You. I loved you. He was my first favorite character until I until I got first into the Beyblade um, Metal Fusion series. And he was actually really cool. His Beyblade was awesome. I loved it. His Bey was really interesting. Um... What else? What else? Uh, I like his personality. He's <laughs> and he's really cute too. In the in the, I think they made him a little bit too weak in um, Metal Fight Explosion or Metal Masters, however you want to say it. Uh, but oh well, I guess they kind of explain that he relies too much on his special move. But I still love him though. He's awesome. He will always be my favorite in my heart. But sadly, there are others that I think are better than him. So yeah, that is why. He is number six. Number five. Subasa. Subasa defines cool. In fact, he is the. Well, he's the voiceover of Kai from the original TV show, which is a major plus bonus for that. Uh, what do I like about Subasa? For one thing, he's a cool character. Um, he's kind of like that uh, laid back. But in Metal Masters, he like flips out and stuff. I love those scenes so much. The animation is beautiful. Um, his Beyblade is also... It's very pretty. I love his Beyblade, his colors and stuff. That, that's cool. Uh, he used to be my best Beyblade, but now there are a ton of others that are better. But I also always love Aquila. Um, and that is why he's number five. Yeah, yeah. Number four. 
Kiyoya. This was a really hard choice between in him and the and the one after this one because I love them both, but sadly I had to pick the other one. Basically, I like uh, what I like about Kiyoya is that his goal his goal is to beat Jenga even though he always loses. Well, the first time, well, actually two times he lost to Jenga, and then in Metal Masters it was a tie, and then on uh, 4D I think it was a tie as well. I can't remember, but anyway, I like his uh. I like his personality. He he's like he likes to tear apart his opponents and stuff. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. Um so yeah, he's uh Ben K's best friend. I really hate Ben K, but oh well. <laughs> so yeah. Kiyoya is a really cool character and that's why he deserves number four. Number three Ryuga. Oh my god, I love Ryuga because he beat Jenga. He always beats Jenga and I love that so much. Um, the reason I like him is because... Oh wait, I already explained. Because he beats Jenga! And he's also a really cool character. At first he's a bit annoying. But then he grows more and more as a more likable character. Even though... I mean, I do like him in the in the original show. but But now he's way cooler. I think he laughed way too much in the... In the metal fight. Mm, and his voice was kind of annoying. It's kind of grown on me. I don't know. And he deserves number three. Number two. Um. So yeah. You must have expected Master Moody to be on this list. Um. The thing I like about him is that he's um. He always says he's number one. Even though he does lose a lot. I hate it that he loses a lot. I think because... Uh, I don't know because if he if they may have to make somebody lose or else and plus two bosses out of the question if he loses then the entire then it would always be a freak show every single time um that's probably why I mess when he loses but in 4D he loses as well I'm like what the flip is it because it's so ironic that he calls himself number one but he loses a lot I mean that's stupid I think he should win a little bit more than he should and his Beyblade is sick. Um, Ray Unicorno was pretty good, but at times it's kind of not so good. But Blitz, most of the time, like 99%, he is great. I love Blitz. He's probably my partner. Well, for for this channel, for Unicorno Extreme Channel. And yeah, that's why he's number two. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one spot is... Cyber with Sora. Sora has to be the most, I mean, what a missed opportunity. He could have been a very major character in the show, and I think it would have gotten a lot more fans than, in fact, he should have been the main character instead of Jenga. Be a, I mean, Matt, Sora's way more likable than Jenga. He has a way cooler Beyblade, a cooler special move. He looks cooler. Um, the reason I love, sadly, I don't have the original. His The original bait looks awesome. Um, the clear wheel is, well... It's clear, like, it's, um, just clear, like, white or whatever. Then his metal wheel is red, and I think that is very sweet. So, yeah. I love Sora. Sadly, I mean, I love Asamune, but, um, he's more, he's too much like Daichi. He's kind of like a copy and paste of Daichi. And that's why he's not number one, because that's a little bit unfair. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Masamune, you're not number one in this situation. So, yeah, Sora... I think should have been the main character, or at least in the Zero G should have made him the main character. Even though Zero isn't bad, I, I kind of like him, but I don't know. I would have liked to see Sora more in the anime. And yeah, that is my top 10 list, my characters, my favorite characters of the show. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out.